Last thing you talked about was education. It is a great concern, absolutely. We have kids graduating from high school in a lot of places in the country who, you know, before going to college have to take remedial classes at community college or before they're able to actually start earning credit towards a degree and spending a whole lot of money in the process. Uh, there are a number of issues that we need to resolve to be able to help improve our education. I talk to a lot of teachers. How many teachers we have here tonight? Teachers who talk about how they're not able to actually teach because they're just teaching to the test. They're just trying to keep the numbers up. They're being told that you've got to do this, 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 and this, and this, but you don't have the resources to be able to do it. I think that our policies towards education need to better reflect the reality of what's happening in our classrooms and that we best provide those resources so that teachers can do what they have chosen to do with their lives, which is really an incredible call to serve. It is a path of service. Teachers don't get paid nearly enough for the great responsibility that all of you have to help prepare our young people to best be successful and to maximize their potential uh, in our country. Uh, this is a big topic and there's a lot of different details to education and how we can improve so that we are continuing to be able to be competitive in this global economy. But I think a lot of the problem, uh, the root causes of the problem goes to the fact that at the federal level, and this has again been going on for a long time, you have politicians making decisions saying, here's a great, good sounding education program. Here, why don't you guys go implement it? And it's just not informed with experience that's coming from those who are actually educators and who are in the business of teaching our kids.